What's going on guys? Welcome back to NLX. My name is Jake and today I am back with another Hogwarts Legacy video. And this time around I want to talk about character creation and backstory. Let's get into it. So, as you guys know, we'll be creating our own character to live out our adventures in Hogwarts Legacy. In these screenshots, we get a quick look at what the character creation screen looks like. Now, obviously, we'll have the freedom to choose our race, gender, and house. But, if we look closely at the character creation screen, we can see that we'll also have many more choices to make. It seems like we'll be able to choose our character's eye color along with general facial structure. It's difficult to say whether or not we'll be choosing from a pre-designed selection of faces or if we'll be able to control things like no shape and jawline, etc. Even further, it seems like we'll be able to choose our character's hairstyle, which I hope doesn't mean that we won't have the choice to wear a hood or a hat, but it will be nice to choose the way our hair looks in the game. Below the hair icon, we can see the eye and brow icon. I believe this indicates that we'll be able to change the color, shape, and possibly placement of our eyes. And next, it would seem the character creator is going to allow us to give our character facial scars and birthmarks. Now, in my opinion, this could make characters look a little goofy, but I think if done right, this could add a lot of personality to our character. And below that, we see the hat icon. I believe this is where we're going to choose the clothes that we start out with. I'm not sure if we'll be finding new clothes throughout our adventure or not. I really hope that we do, but it may be difficult for them to do that right since you are a student at the school and you can't really just run around the school and whatever. There's typically um, a dress code and uh, specific clothes that the students have to wear. So it'll be interesting to see what the devs decide to do with clothing and gear and stuff like that. But that does leave the option for there to be variants of the school uniform, such as wearing a cloak or choosing to wear a vest and things of that nature. You know, they might give you the option to say, you know, here are three or four different uniform options or variations, and you might be able to mix and match different items to kind of create your own look. But I do think it would be a little immersion breaking if you're the only student running around the castle not wearing a uniform. And the last symbol on the character creation screen, I believe, represents where we're going to choose our house. Uh, I did have a video covering this subject previously. I do have some updated ideas about how I think this might work in the game, and I'll probably have a video coming out about that in the future. Now, while all these cosmetic choices for our character are really great and interesting, and I think it's going to give us a lot of options to really flesh out our character and make our character our own, I think something that could do that even more in a game like this is giving a character a specific backstory or origin. If this is something that we see done in a lot of RPGs, um, you know, starting all the way back with Dungeons and Dragons and kind of deciding where your character comes from, uh, you know, what kind of history does your character have that will inform some of the things that will happen in the way that they handle situations that you encounter throughout the game. For instance, we could have characters that are um, mudbloods, you know, that could change the way that certain NPCs talk to your character. We could have characters, you could play a Slytherin character that's a pureblood, that, you know, you being a pureblood influences the way that you talk to other characters throughout the game. There are really a lot of options here, um, and it could be really interesting to see how the devs tackle this. But yeah guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know down in the comments, what kind of witch or wizard do you guys wanna make for this game? Are you gonna go the evil Slytherin route? Or maybe you'll be a good Slytherin and go against some of your classmates. Or maybe you just wanna make a representation of yourself in game. Either way guys, let me know what you're gonna do with your character in this game down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video at all, feel free to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I'm gonna have a ton more Hogwarts Legacy videos coming out in the future. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching and praise the games. Thank you.